Um, dancing, tap dancing. Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, I just woke up, stinky. <laughs> Morning breath. Boom. Oh. Okay, so it's um, what James Bond says when he orders a drink. Um, Martin, shake it, not stir. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Jackman and Taryn Egerton were with Fallon a couple of nights ago, and guess what? They were with our own Tony Gonzalez a couple of days ago. She's here to tell us about their new movie out this weekend. Don't be jelly. Just a little bit. Just a little, a little bit. bit. Oh, it was fantastic. <sighs> That's right. Yeah. I sure was. I was with Hugh Jackman <laughs> for Eddie the Eagle. Yes. It is inspired by true life. Uh, Eddie the Eagle, Michael Eddie Edwards, okay, and his go at the 1988 Calgary Olympics in the sport of ski jumping. Hey. Yeah, he was known equally for his charisma, okay, as he was his tenacity. So we'll see this. Yeah, but that's not unlike the cast okay. themselves. Take a look. For as long as I can remember, it has been my ambition to become an Olympian. Yeah. Eddie, you are not an athlete. Don't tell Eddie that, and certainly not when it comes to ski jumping. Britain hasn't had a ski jumper since 1929. I'm going to be a ski jumper. Never mind the fact that Eddie just picked up that sport, or the fact that he's had absolutely no training. No, none of that mattered to him. The time to start jumping is when you're five or six. He was a bit of an underdog, kind of oblivious to the fact that he had no idea how much he was taken on. Can you guys point to a personal story in your own careers that was, you kind of had the same oblivious, make it or break it, do or die? and I were quite nervous about making this film with, you know, <laughs> yeah. with, with, with it's you, true. obviously. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> that was a triple tag. <laughs> you want your moment, Eddie? You gotta do this for real. For Oscar nominee Hugh Jackman, his moment was the night the Academy Awards came calling. I remember getting the phone call for the Oscars to host the Oscar about one o'clock in the morning, and I kind of said, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> and then I said, "They're like, what? What, am I, what? What did I just say yes to?" Well, you know, I'm a kid from the suburbs of Australia, probably the same. And you know, we watch the Oscars and all that, and I was, "Yeah, love it." And and then, of course, it dawns on you that. Hang on, this is Bob Hope, Billy Crystal. What? I have no business being up there, but what's the audience? But I was still like, "What the hell?" Huh? How many people watch that live? A billion people. A billion. Billion. So, so just, I was actually feeling remarkably calm because I, I convinced myself yeah. that I didn't want to look back, like when I'm 80, hopefully, and go, you know, I just was too nervous to enjoy it. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. I'll do it once, you know, I'll never get a chance to do it again. And so just before I went on, Valdez, the stage manager, was there, and he gets 30 seconds, and I all of a sudden found myself going to slow motion, like I'm looking into that abyss, and I. I just started to feel this anxiety come over me. Yeah. 20 seconds, and I'm like, and I'm looking down, he gets 15 seconds, he goes, good luck out there, Mr. Jackman, there's only a billion people watching, you'll be fine. <laughs> and I remember, and I laugh, if you ever look at the tape, I walk out on stage laughing, looking into the right. wings. If it wasn't for Valdez, I think I might have just vomited and never gone on, yeah. you know. So. Anything I say is going to pale into insignificance. <laughs> yeah, where's your Oscars? How do you follow Oscars? Jackman hosting the Oscars? <laughs> that school play you did. Yeah, that school, yeah. School. That lemonade stand. <laughs> Third <laughs> Shepherd from the left, 1995. <laughs> it's a big moment. <laughs> Watch this guy, number two in the world. And he knew what he was doing. Obviously have to do a lot of falling. Talk mm -hmm. to me about the art of falling and doing it correctly. The truth is, anyone who signs up to be an actor, if you're not prepared to make a fool of yourself, kind of on a daily basis, mm. you'll never be any good because there's no real right or wrong. You, you're always taking on something you've never done before if, if you're doing it right, I think. Mm -hmm. So there has to be an element of going for it, taking a risk, and thankfully having someone like Dex who's like, that was really bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let's go again. And mm. if, if someone's not really going for it, then we go, uh... And these two are the masters of that, I've got to say, because I didn't, it wasn't always easy, you know. Yeah, Hugh, hold him up above your head and then just say a little bit of we came out. And it's like, this is my day job. And I think a little bit of we just came out of me. You have a new nickname, Tony the Tiger. Yeah, when you I love it. calls you Tony the Tiger, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll We're take still it. calling you that in the office now. <laughs> All right, so what did you think of the movie? Oh, my goodness, it's super cute. It is really important to know. It is inspired by a true okay, story. Okay, so not completely 100% exactly. factual. So we don't really know where the liberties were taken. Okay. Um, not quite a shocker. It is really family-friendly. It is PG-13, though. So okay. So for a very suggestive kind of sex scene that might okay. be in there. 
Super inspirational, a really good feel-good movie. The guys and we need it. some of those, and you know we're going to be talking about the Oscars in just a second. Yeah. But I feel like sometimes you just need lighter movies, feel-good movies yeah. out there. And this will certainly do it. I mean, it it really did. It gave me the feel-goods. And when oh. I saw it with the crowd, everybody was clapping. I mean, yeah. it, it's a really good feel-good movie. Okay, good. Yeah. So I'm going to go see it. Uh, and I loved Hugh Jackman, by the way, um, when he did the Oscars, when he hosted. Oh. He did a great job. You never knew how nervous yeah. he was. He so was actually, he's gonna... that was one of my favorites, yeah. too. But mm -hmm. I'll tell you, I'm really looking forward to Chris Rock this Oh, Sunday. he's going to, I mean, really, can you not be, is he ever disappointed? Nope. Well, and speaking of, today marks our midway point through our look at the Oscars. The 88th Annual Academy Awards are the biggest night in movies, and it again is this Sunday, in case you forgot. Yeah, and because we were talking about Hugh Jackman, I thought, Let's stick with the fellas. Yeah. I mean, come on. And uh, not just any fellas, leading fellas. The leading ones. Oh, yeah. Those are my favorite kind. All right. I'm here to tell you the race is hot. Okay. It's super tight. And, so there's uh, not one that we're thinking right, you know, off the bat is good. Okay, it's his hands down. Oh, no, I think it is his okay. hands down. But I'll All tell right. you it is. How about before we go into there, let's actually take a look at who's up for, okay. the, yep. for the leading Flick man. Okay, the Oscar. Uh, first is one of your and I's favorites. I know. Brian Cranston. He did really well in Trumbo. Matt Damon for the movie The Martian. We've talked about that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yep, very yep. Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. Uh, Michael Fassbender is vying for the gold man for Steve Jobs. And finally, Eddie Redmayne for The Danish Girl. We talked about his co-star, mm -hmm. Alicia Vikander, yeah, yeah, yeah. who's also up for supporting. So you do think there's one man in this category that hands down is going to get it. Yeah. We don't have to. We don't have to worry. Well, what do you think? I mean, is I, it is it finally his time? Gosh, please let it be his time. If this is not Leo, now, when it's going to be Seriously, Leo? Seriously, though, this Seriously. guy has done some phenomenal work. He has. You think it's award winning? I mean, you think this performance well, is deserving? I will tell you, I don't think this is his best performance. He's had better performances all across uh -huh. the board. I mean, we talk about Wolf of Wall Street. We could go back yeah. to uh, all kinds of his other performances. This will be his year, though. I mean, he's won the Golden Globe. He's won other things. If not now, when? <laughs> That's a hashtag I want to start. <laughs> if, if not, not now, now, when? when. Yeah. Well, I love someone online said, you know what's going to happen? Someone's going to make a movie about Leonardo DiCaprio, and then that actor is going to get <laughs> yeah. the Oscar. For playing you know, Leonardo DiCaprio. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So we think it's his turn. So that's what I your Tony so. Award goes that's to. That's what I'm going to call it, and I will actually bet a cup of coffee on it. Okay. I'll have that bet. Can All we right. just have coffee either way? Tony the, ti Tony Tony the, the Tiger. Tony the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so tomorrow what? We're going to look at the leading ladies? Leading ladies. Okay. So yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk some chick chat okay. and see what's going on with the ladies. Sounds good. Thank you, Tony the Tiger. How about that, Steph? <laughs> New nickname. <Wow. laughs> All right, if there's ever a time to get up and dance, it's got to be your birthday, right? Up next in today's virtual video, meet the 106-year-old birthday girl who found herself in the White House with the best dancing partners you could ever ask for. That's next. Nice.